A wedding ceremony turned tragic at Fort Jesus Village in Royro, Kiambu County after a group that had gone to pick the bride drowned in an underground water tank as they celebrated. The 17 people who were dancing and celebrating the bride's victory on top of the underground tank sank inside leaving six of them dead. <laughs> Sasa wakati ya tufika roiro, tukaeda kuchukua mchichana. Na kawaida, wakati ya tulifika huko, wanawake diwa naedaga bere wa ibe, waede, wapatio mchichana. Wakati ya waliigia, tukasikia nyibo tuko hize ya geti. Tukasikia nyibo, nyibo, nyibo. Tukasikia mara moja, watu wakitoka, wakua wanapiga kelele. Tukaulisa ni nini. Wakati wabia, watu wamesha aguka kwa shimo. Wakati ya tuligia dani, tukakuta kweli. The six who drowned after the underground tank slab caved around 11 a.m. include five women and a child. MC alikuwa ndani yake na hata mwingine tulikuwa tunamuita chairman alikuwa huko ndani lakini mambo yote yalifanyika na tukasikia watu wameshapeleka kwa hospitali kuna wengine walikufa sijui wangapi na wengine wako kwa hospitali lakini harusi imeshaendelea na tuko hapa nje tunataka kwenda reception according to Kiambu County Police Commander Permanis Kioi survivors of the incident were rushed to various hospitals in Royro among them Plains View Royro Level 4 and Kenyatta University Teaching Research and Referral Hospitals. I would like to confirm that this morning we had an incident at around 11 a.m. whereby we had a group of people who are coming to pick the bride uh, so that they can go and celebrate a wedding. Uh, it happened that um, as they entered this compound, they happened to step uh, on top of the bow which you have seen there. Uh, 17 of them were, were stepping on that, uh, to, I mean the top cover of the bow, and uh, unfortunately it collapsed due to the weight. I want to confirm that uh, out of that, uh, we have confirmed that uh, the total number of the ones who entered into the bow were 17, and we have already lo lost six lives. Uh, it's so unfortunate, and I'm sending my condolences to the bereaved families. Uh, among them, we have five females and one child who, is, who was aged 16 years. Uh, the others, the survivors, have been taken to different hospitals within Luiro. That is Prince uh, Hospital, Luiro uh, County District Hospital there, and the, the child is in uh, Kayuri Varo Hospital. Uh, so far, they were coming from different areas. You see, they were coming to celebrate a wedding. So we cannot have a specific place where they were coming from. Okay. Yes, uh, as you can see, we are a team of multi agency, and also we are going to involve the physical planner and the the planning team so that they can come and see the materials, the way the bow was prepared, whether it was uh, prepared in the correct way or they followed the proper procedure or it was not a procedure. Otherwise, the investigation are ongoing and uh, I'm very sure we shall come out with a person to blame so that we can do prosecution. He noted that the concrete slab caved in under the weight of the group causing the victims to fall into the water tank. Kioi revealed that investigations have commenced to ascertain how the incident happened and assured that anyone found to have caused the incident either by poor construction works or otherwise will face prosecution. The incident that closely paralyzed the wedding ceremony sent an alarm as those who witnessed rushed to save them. <laughs> Nimekuwa kwa pilika pilika zangu, nikasikia kuna watu wa maanguka kwa shimo ya storage tanki ya maji. Ndiyo nikafika pale, kufika pale nikapata watu wa kiwa ndani wa kiendelea na uoko haji. Venye tulifika pale, tukajaribu kuokoa maji kakua mingi, tukaanza kuchota na ndoo. Tukapunguza paka venye ilipungua, nikashuka ndani. 
nilitoa mama mmoja kama amekufa na mtoto au ndio nilitoa kama amekufa but kwa sasa hakuna hakuna mtu yote mwenye amebaki huko ndani tumetoa kila kitu na kulikuwa na hiyo tanka haikuwa imejengwa mzuri hiyo ni kitu la jambo la kwanza la pili ni kama wale wenye walikuwa wamesimama pale juu hawakuwa najua hii jajengo mzuri na wanaweza kusimama pale juu so venye walisimama ikaporomoka wote wakazama ndani huyu msichana alikuwa achukuliwa ili aende apewe apeanwe kwa bwana yake He, ikawa kuna watu ambao walikuja pale ndani kuchukua msichana wakiwa wamefurahia na kukaa kuna septic ilikuwa mali pale ni, ni kishimo wa wale watu ambao walikuwa wamekuja pale kusherekea ili watoe msichana ndani ya nyumba kwa furaha waka wakao waka, waka, wako na uzito ni kama hapo mahali hapa kwa pametengenezwa vizuri na kukabomoka wakaanguka ndani watu ishirini nasikia kuna watu hapo sijaona lakini nasikia kuna watu nne ambao wako hali maututi na kuna watu wawili wameaga ilikuwa tumsherekee sherehe ya harusi hasa nimerudi nimekuwa matanga hasa ni usuni kazi sana tukali tunaombaleza wenye wameaga na wapikia pole familia yenye wameaga na wenye wako hospitali naombea nafu ya haraka hapo mahali penye wamekleo septic tank ni kama hizo juma ni light sana hasa wakati walikuwa watu excess wakati walikuwa harakati ya kucheza hiyo septic ka singi ndani ka watu wakaingia ndani wote According to the rescuers, two people died on the spot while the other people were rescued and taken to hospital. A team of fire brigade officers from Kiambu rushed to rescue the group that had been trapped in the underground water tank. Simon Injoroj, who had traveled from Matara village in Gatundu north to aid in the process of picking the bride, regretted that the incident inflicted fear, leaving them with numerous questions why the incident occurred on a celebratory day. Despite the tragedy, The wedding ceremony between Charles Moria and Susan Wanjira continued at Wonders Touch Ministries International Church and later a reception happened at Ruiru Boys High School grounds.